Yo, 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 welcome back. This is Leo Aquatics coming back to you with an Oscar tank. A lot of people want to know how to set up an Oscar tank, the tank itself, what's going on inside of there. Um, and we're going to do this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, the Oscar tank is a very simple thing to set up. Uh, people want to know about the rocks and decorations and this and that. And I get it, you go to these big box stores, you know, Petco and places like that, and you see all these things they have for inside of the tank. And don't get me wrong, these things are really beautiful. I have some tanks that have some of those things in there. We'll show you those in later videos. Um, this is my smaller Oscar tank. I made videos on the 55 gallon I have. This is a 40 gallon bow front. Uh, has two juvenile Oscars in it, uh, albino Latino and a tiger Oscar. Okay, and I'm going to tell you about the rocks and things like that. Generally, things that have really sharp edges on it would be fine with smaller fish, this and that. But with these guys, they get so rambunctious and big, you really don't want nothing with sharp edges in there. And I'm going to tell you why. Anything that you would buy that has sharp edges on it, rocks, wood, castles, etc. If these guys ever get to playing, and uh, which they do quite often, or feeding on live fish, feeder fish that you put in there, while they're chasing them around or whatever, if they was to ever run into something sharp, it's going to give them a nasty cut. Okay, and they'll have, sometimes they'll heal, sometimes they won't heal. Uh, and then if they do heal, you'll have a, a fish that has a nasty scar on it. And like I said before, guys, who likes scars? Okay, nobody likes scars. I don't like scars. So, you know, your fish, you want your fish to be beautiful. They, they don't like scars neither. Okay, so the, the driftwood you're seeing there in front, okay, that's, it had a couple places on it that was sharp, but I sanded them off before I put it in there. So it's really smooth. Uh, do you see the the rocks, the pebbles in there? Those are ultra round, smooth river rocks, pebbles. Um, and the sand has been changed from gravel substrate to to the sand. Okay, and this is pool filtration sand. I know uh, a lot of places, Petco, and places they sell sand for especially made for the Oscars and this and that but and it's really good okay I'm not knocking Petco these these places sell the sand that has bacteria in it good bacteria for the fish and this and that but guys when you're looking at eight dollars a bag for uh, five pounds okay this is a 40 pound tank and generally you want to put about a pound a gallon so you're looking at about 40 pounds so you're looking at about $40 worth of sand, okay? And this bag of sand I picked up is 50 pounds for $8. Okay, I got that at Home Depot. It's just regular pull filtration sand. Just make sure it don't have no additives like bleach or anything like that in it. And it really does fine. It's really beautiful. It really, really does good. The plants in here are fake, okay? I, I got them in there, and the real reason being is I had live plants, but these guys would just pull them up and take them wherever they want and drop them off, and so it wasn't working. But these plants here, they not generally moving them too well, because like I said, I got about 40 pounds of sand in here, so uh, the substrate's probably about three inches deep. So these plants go pretty deep into the substrate, and they not able to move them yet okay but sooner or later they will be able to move them and they will start moving them but yeah guys it's really simple to keep tank and the reason it's a tiny bit cloudy is because I had too much filtration on here and people say can it be too much filtration yes it, I've learned that it can be I thought it wouldn't be but I, I, I was wrong about that okay on this tank, I have two 40-gallon sit-on-the-back pumps 
in this tank and it's only a 40 gallon tank so I have double the power of what it needs to filter all this water and what I found out is about using both of them pumps is too much stuff going on in the water too much movement too much uh, just too much from the pumps themselves so I cut one of them off and now it's starting to clear back out and so making an Oscar tank guys really ain't nothing it's nothing to do it's really not hard these guys are loving it uh, the only thing that you really got to worry about is the water and the stuff that goes on the water and we're gonna talk about that next Okay, guys, the water. Um, water is very important, if not more important than, well, absolutely more important than the rocks and this and that, but the water is a necessity to have it a certain way, okay? These Oscars are found in tropical South America, okay, which means they love a warmer water. I mean, who don't who don't like warm water, okay? Uh, nobody wants to go swimming in an ice lake. Same thing for fish, okay? They really love a warmer water, and the temperature of the water, I keep mine around 77, okay? But you can jot it anywhere between 74 and 81 is what these guys prefer. Um, but generally, like I said, mine's around 77. That's where I keep it at. That's where I found out they're the most happiest at. Like I said, they are from a tropical habitat. Okay. The pH in this tank and in my other Oscar tank, uh, I keep it stable all the time between 6 and 8 at all times. Okay. That's really important. Okay. Just remember to check your pH. It's really, really important that the pH stay between six and eight okay if not then you know things could happen this and that I wouldn't recommend letting that slip make sure that the pH is between six and eight okay if you keep your tank at 77 degrees or like I said between 74 and 81 if you can't really keep it at 77 long as it's in between those two and the pH at six between six and eight you have a wonderful Oscar tank, guys. And they'll be loving it. They'll be active. They move around. Um, you know, colder tanks, they generally seem to want to sit still. And if Oscar's ever just sitting there, you know, there's either an issue. Either they're pouting. Because, like I said, these are the river dogs. Okay? Just like a dog's your best friend, these guys will become your best friend. They'll come up to you and they'll even eat food out of your hand. I've had it I've had it happen I mean these guys are really really take a loving to their person that it keeps them that's why they call the river dogs of the of the hobby okay but like I said in the other tank uh, these guys get big and when they get big they're gonna be needing bigger tanks so if you buy these guys when they're small and cute and cuddly and you think that oh I'm just gonna keep them in this little 10 gallon tank or 20 gallon tank forever it's not it's not gonna happen guys okay these guys grow quick um, they're gonna need like I said I got them at three months probably about three months I've been had these guys and I bought them when they're an inch long they are now about three and a half inches long um, pushing the, the breaking point of this 40 gallon tank so their next tanks a 55 gallon I will be changing them out into that and I'll be showing you the process um, but guys generally okay if you just do the things that are really simple uh, for the tank pH uh, water temperature uh, make sure that anything you put in there does not have sharp edges on it really make sure of that guys because you could kill a fish real easy um, and if you can just make sure it don't have sharp edges and keep the water temperature and everything going good which is not very hard you got yourself some wonderful happy fish that are just going to be loving life okay and you see the turtle there they really love the turtle too 
and I think that's because he's not real and he don't bother him. In my other tank, I got a Pleco. He's about 10 inches. Uh, I made a video on that. Uh, he, not on him, but I am going to make one on him. But the other Oscar's keeping him at bay, so I'm going to have to move him out into another tank. That way I can make a video on him and show you exactly what he looks like and tell you about him. But yeah, this video is on the Oscar tank. Uh, if y'all have any questions or anything like that, uh, drop a comment. Let me know and I will answer it swiftly. I've taken care of these guys for a long time. Uh, like I had the other ones for about three years. I uh, pretty much know about what's going on with the Oscars and freshwater fish. Uh, if you like the information in this video, please like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on future uh, freshwater fish coming out and substrate changes and starting your own aquarium business. Liel Aquatics is going to be around for a while. Uh, I am starting an aquarium business, like I said, and I really, really want to take y'all on the journey. So, yeah, guys, the juvenile Oscars there, they appreciate your time, and as do we. And like I said, like and subscribe for more videos. This is Liel Aquatics. And we are out.